The most important websites we visit and apps we use are often protected by HTTPS encryption. We've become used to the padlock icon on the left side of our browser that tells us that this encryption is in place. However, it's important to consider that this encryption is only as strong as the certificate that underpins it. As the sophistication of mobile attacks increase, it's possible for an attacker to insert a rogue root certificate onto a target phone, allowing a man-in-the-middle attack to even inspect SSL-protected traffic. James Gurrier, Cybersecurity Manager at BAE Systems, will now demonstrate how Threat Manager protects against this type of attack. In this demonstration, we will show how an attacker can adapt a man-in-the-middle attack to make even SSL traffic vulnerable. We will then demonstrate how Mobile Threat Manager can prevent such attacks from happening and keep phone data safe. In this scenario, we have two phones in a man-in-the-middle situation. One has been enabled with Mobile Threat Manager and one hasn't. Both phones have been configured to run their traffic through a malicious proxy attempting to compromise their SSL traffic. In order to do this, the proxy creates a valid SSL connection with the website the phone wishes to connect to and presents an untrusted certificate to the end user. Modern browsers and devices will detect that the certificate presented is not trusted nor matches the intended destination and will throw an error, as we see here. This error alerts the user that their SSL connection may have been compromised and gives them the choice to trust the connection or cancel the request. Due to the framing of this situation, the user is likely to reject the connection and question the validity of the Wi-Fi connection. In order to circumvent this natural reaction, the attacker will reframe the situation so that the accepting of the connection happens in an environment that they control. In order to do this, they create a captive portal so that when a new user connects to their network, they are presented with the ultimatum, accept the certificate in order to use the Wi-Fi. This splash screen is designed to look legitimate, matching standard hotel format, but it can be redesigned to fit any brand or style. When the user is now presented with the accept certificate option, it is in a safe environment under the attacker's control. The attacker has framed the exchange with a level of trust and credibility. In this situation, the user is much more likely to accept the certificate. Now, once the certificate is trusted, the user isn't alerted that their traffic is now being proxied. All of their traffic will now go via this proxy where it is both viewable and editable. Mobile Threat Manager protects the traffic by adding another layer of encryption and not relying entirely on SSL. To the attacker, the traffic is not visible and the tool won't be able to read it as it is not recognized as HTTP traffic. We have now shown how Mobile Threat Manager not only protects your device but also your data in transit and should be considered a major component of your organization's mobile security strategy.